Have you ever tried to start a fire? You know, when you take flint and you create friction, it sends spark, but you surely don't want in your wig is friction. Friction creates this kind of mess in the back of the head where it's so knotted up, it's just a ball. It can never be combed out. It actually starts to shrink the base. It also makes you lose all the hair on the back of your nape of the neck. I'm gonna share with you today what causes friction in a hairpiece, especially the back of the neck, that will ruin your hairpiece that starts off beautiful, virgin hair, hand tied, and then could turn out just like this. Where does it start? Well, when you shampoo your hairpiece, and it's been shampooed with the shampoo that we provide you with, you've used the treatment on it, you've used the conditioner on it, but not on the base, and then you ready to take it out, squeeze out the water. You go and get mom's beautiful soft towel. It feels so good when it's against your skin and cuddly and warm, but to the hairpiece, it's not good at all. It's the beginning of the friction. That's why you've gotten a friction-free towel in your whole package with your brand new wig. Why did we give you a towel? Not because we thought it was a good idea, but because it's called a friction free towel. It's a chamois that when your hair is wet, you simply blot it. That's all I'm doing. Blot it, move the towel around, and continue to blot and blot as it takes the moisture out of it with no friction. The second friction is that you don't go start combing this before you apply your step four and five, especially number five. That number five is a silicone base that creates a slick surface, and then you get your wet brush that causes no friction like plastic will or other types of brushes, and you begin to comb it through very gently. But even better than combing it that way, take your friction-free towel, lay it out, and lay your hairpiece on it, and just simply start at the ends and begin to comb through, moving up the wig, moving up the wig till you get to the top. That way, if you try to do it this way, the tendency is to break hairs off because you get to that point, even though the wet brush takes all the tangles out, you'll get to a point where it just might be a little drier in one spot and moister in the other, and it'll wanna break through it. So again, by laying it down and working with your hand here, holding it, working the ends out, moving up higher, you'll have no friction whatsoever and you stop the possibility of one of these results at that point. The one area that most people don't realize they get most friction on is in the nape area. The nape area needs extra coating because that's where all the friction happens from your collars and your scarf. If it's cold outside, you might be like my wife, Zena. She loves those cuddly wool feeling around her neck and then a wool you know, scarf around her neck and she'll throw it over there and she'll flip her hair out and her hair is doing this, up and down, moving back and forth and creating the little cuticle that's on the hair to burr up like bark and it begins to look like this. So what do you do? Well, two things, as soon as you Get it cleaned and shampooed and freshened. You do an extra spray on the nape area. What else do you do? Every day, when it's not even washed, a spray in the back of the nape area. Why? Because your neck is warm and that's where it's taking the friction from whatever collar you're wearing. But to even go one step further, you wanna take a silk scarf and put it around your neck. You can still use the wool, because I've got many clients that say, I love the wool warmth and how it feels. That's okay. Use the wool scarf to keep you warm and cuddly, but put the scarf between the wool friction and the silk that will help the hair be smooth, just like the chamois towel will do. So you've learned two really important elements, maybe more, but what you don't want to end up with is missing this message because this hair piece gets like this, it can't be worn. For the rest of the time period of whatever calendar schedule you're on before your next hair piece, you can't get a new hair piece. So in turn, the reality is chamois towel, wet brush, conditioner uh, that you leave in as, as well as the step four that will help you style it and silk scarves when it comes to, it's not my style, when you, when you get 
cold and you want to have something on your neck but you want to keep yourself warm. Don't let friction start a fire in your hairpiece. It's really not meant for that. I'm Jeffrey Paul with Continual Education with Wigs for Kids. Let us know your questions and we'll definitely get you the answers.